Hello, this is Sudhakar Mabharti. Today we're going to talk about uh, what is Amazon EC2 auto scaling. We're going to go over some of the concepts using our C1C2 diagram. So basically, how auto scaling works, and uh, the focus is uh, auto scaling group and how it is related to other uh, entities. So when you read this documentation, it should uh, make a lot of sense for you as you are uh, reading through this documentation. So let me go over to my C1C2 diagram and uh, show you what I got here. Let me use my invisible pens. Pen. Okay. And a different color. All right. So that's good. Okay. So this is the service. Auto scaling service. So this service manages everything related to auto scaling. So what is auto scaling? You know, you got uh, an EC2 instance. You have an EC2 instance. You, that you launched using your SSH key pair. You chose your instance type and then AMI image, Amazon image. You attach some security groups and you attach some storage devices. So that's your EC2 instance that you launched. And uh, you want, uh, uh, as part of uh, the workload, uh, you want to auto scale how many number of instances should be there in uh, in, in, in your uh, application load balancing setting. Uh, so you can specify all that, how many instances I want minimum, sorry, minimum, and how many maximum. So when more users come to your machine, requests are coming, traffic is coming. So it will maintain a minimum of two. It will do all the checks. And it will, uh, if, if some instance, if one of the instances goes uh, uh, bad, it will launch another one. And then it will make sure that uh, the minimum two are maintained and a maximum of eight, beyond which, of course, the machines get slowed and then um, because more traffic and users will get a, a slower response. Um, and you can specify all the availability zones because you want to distribute your work lo load coming into different uh, availability zones. And you need to specify in what VPC you want uh, your instances to be launched and what subnets, obviously, a VPC has subnets. And so you select a VPC and then subnets. Um, so for high availability, you tell through this launch template to Amazon how you want scale the number of machines and what percentages, on-demand instances, spot instances to be made available in different availability zones based on this allocation strategy. You tell all that and set up this auto-scaling group. And this service will use all this information and automatically increase the number of instances as the load increases and as the load decreases, it will terminate those instances and uh, maintain a minimum of two. Preferably, we want to maintain four, but at a minimum two. So depending upon the traffic, Amazon will decide, uh, you know, how many to maintain between two and 
spot instances are less expensive. Um, so here there are some considerations to uh, consider when specifying what type of what type of instance type if you keep it flexible. So let us say initially you have instance type uh, T2 and, uh, and then you want uh, uh, M5 2x type of uh, instance type, then uh, you can specify in your launch template and then adjust. Um, oh no, you, you specify that uh, in your scaling group that you can override a new instance type and then whatever is running will be overridden and then those new instance types will be launched. So basically, you can manage your scaling strategy using uh, these, this configuration. Hope that helps when you read all that auto scaling documentation. So this understanding should help you to understand fast. For now, that's all I have. Take it easy. Bye-bye.